Craft Revive Prep, PragerU resources for educators and parents. We've got crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making a bulletin board to look like old glory, our American flag. Here's what you'll need. A rectangle white cork bulletin board, push pins with a flat top, red and blue acrylic craft paint, pre-cut stars about an inch wide, make sure they're the five point stars, masking tape, and hot glue. You might need an adult's help with this one. Oh, what's that? We've got a question. I've seen many different types of American flags. How many flags does America actually have? Good observation. Okay, historically, the United States has had, officially, 27 different versions of our American flag since the Founding Fathers declared our freedom in 1776. Now, all these different designs were created at different times in our history and show how the USA has really grown. Our very first flag was created in either 1776 or 1777. Historians can't quite agree on this one. A seamstress named Betsy Ross in Philadelphia was the one who sewed it together. And we like to call that flag that we see, with 13 stars on it, the Betsy Ross flag. Now some say it was even her idea to make the stars with five points. Okay, you ready to make our flag now? Let's go. The first thing we're gonna do is get your masking tape and section out the stripes for our flag. Wanna make sure you have 13 stripes and it's gonna start with a red stripe and end with a red stripe. The parts you leave blank are what we're going to color red and the parts with the masking tape on it will be the white part of the stripe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, not so good. Gotta have thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ding, 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 ding. We did it. If you want to be really professional, lock off the part that you don't want to get painted on the frame. Shall we go? Here we go. There's no turning back. Let's start with the blue. Okay, so why do we have red, white, and blue as our colors? Blue stands for perseverance and justice, which means you keep working hard. Okay, red, our first stripe and last stripe, symbolizes hardiness and valor, which means strength and bravery. And like I said, if it's not perfect, it's okay. So we got the red stripe, Remember, where the masking tape is, is gonna be the white stripe, and the white on our flag symbolizes purity and innocence. Last one. Now here's the moment of truth. I need to take off this piece of tape first because we need to fill this in blue. You're going to gently peel this section back to fill in the rest of the blue. And you can just eyeball it. Did we make it? Woo! Be careful. <laughs> okay. Not too bad. Time to peel the tape off really carefully. You can actually probably wait for the paint to dry before you peel the tape off, but I was just so excited I had to find out with you. Okay, what we're gonna do now is make our push pin stars. I got regular bulletin board pins, flat top. We got pre-cut stars. These are made out of wood. You can order them online. And all you're gonna do is glue. 50 for 50 states. Ta-da! 
Our old Gloria is almost done. We've got everything we need to make all different versions of our flag. And like I said, our first flag had 13 stars to represent the 13 colonies. It was flown between 1777 and 1795, when George Washington was president. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 is the Betsy Ross flag! 15 stars were from 1795 to 1818, and this was the flag that inspired Francis Scott Key to write the Star Spangled Banner, our national anthem, when he saw the flag flying during the War of 1812. On another note, John Adams, our second president, famously called this blue area during this time a new constellation because of the stars. So 1818 to 1819, there were 20 stars. And soon we had 21, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and then it skipped to 43 stars in 1890 eventually reaching 50 stars for 50 states. Ta-da! Jackson's! Pop quiz, do you know the very last state to become a part of the US? If you said Hawaii, you're right! Our 50th star for Hawaii was added on July 4th, 1960. And here's another fun fact. Since 1819, stars are only added with the addition of a state on the 4th of July. And that's why you might see all different kinds of American flags. So, the next time Flag Day rolls around, June 14th, you can tell everyone you know what the stars and stripes actually stand for. We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way and send us your pictures when you make your own bulletin board flag. Keep creating, keep learning, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. Bye guys. All right, can we get this on the wall? I think so. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.